Hey, what's up? It's your boy Stephen McCoy, and you are listening to Spoken in Session. Today's special guest has performed for BT's Celebration of Gospel, the Stella Award, and even showcased as BT's Music Matters artist. Please welcome Stella Award nominated artist, singer, songwriter, Jonathan McReno. What's up, Jonathan? brother? What's up, man? Oh, man, nothing. So you're here the sophomore album. Um, you have the single out now, Gotta Have You, as well as uh, Pressure, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, so, man, I'm really excited about it. Uh, you, uh, you actually just performed at the Essence Music Festival. How was that? That had to be really exciting, right? Oh, man, that was incredible, man. I got to do a few events this year. Um, the 355 Black Awards uh, from McDonald's. I did a wow. uh, R&B Super Lounge with Kelly Price, Layla Hathaway, and Avery Sunshine. That was a really fun show. And then finally at the end, I got to uh, do the Essence Fest tribute to Kim Burrell, where I sang both, wow. of, those singles, both, both of those singles and also uh, one of her songs. And it was, really, you know, it was really fun, man. It was incredible. Uh, my talk that happened right after my set too with the set India and Layla. It was, it was just it was just a great great weekend for me, man. Yeah, that had to have been a, a, a defining moment for you. Absolutely, man. You know, Essence always is. It's the second second year, and it's always been just an incredible weekend for me. Uh, so that's, that's, right. hopefully they ask me to come back. Your new album. It's titled Life Music Stage Two. Can you talk to me a little bit about the album and why did you actually go with this title? Yeah, you know, well, uh, you know, I wanted to put out another album first of all of Life Music. That's what I write. That's all I can. That's all I know how to write. It's, yeah. You know, just songs that are are truly uh, indicative and expressive of or. Uh, inspired by just life, life as a Christian, man. life, uh, you yeah. know, going up and down, you know, it's not always perfect, it's not always clean, it could be ugly sometimes, it could be great sometimes, it could be joyful sometimes, I wanted to always capture that in life, because that's really what my heart is, uh, so this is definitely another album of life music, just like the first one, but you know, life is in stages, and I, I really believe this is the second stage of my career, and also, uh, it's actually uh, actually a different stage, a different platform, a different level of people that even know I exist, you know, so uh, it's yeah. kind of a different stage in two regards. And so I'm really excited about this one, man. It's going to be really good, uh, very diverse. Uh, of course, the songwriting is always going to be transparent. I, I talk about things that aren't necessarily talked about too much in gospel music and stuff like that, but, man, we have NDRE on this record, Israel yeah. Holden on this record, Derek Minor on this record, uh, the single is already a song that I wrote with PJ Morton. So, man, I'm, I, I think it's just incredible, uh, the diversity of it, man. I'm just really proud of it. I have to say, Maintain is my favorite track. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I love that track. I mean, you are so diverse that you kind of almost forget that it's a gospel album. You know, you, you're talking about real life stuff on this album. So it's like, it, and it, it doesn't really come off as you really preaching too hard. It just, it comes really natural. Well, yeah, so. man. I, I, my whole thing has always been trying to figure out. Um, the, the thing that actually gets us to heaven is not is not the Sunday experience, man. It's the the regular life. It's just yeah. It's just seeing how Jesus meets, you know, Monday through Saturday, and that's what I've always tried to figure out myself. So it's been what I've been writing about. So. That's a, that's a big compliment, man. That it just feels like life, and I hope yeah. it does. So how is this di album different from the first album? Well, I mean, I'm older. You know, I think that's the biggest difference. On, uh, so everything that I tried to do in the first album, I think I accomplished a little more. You know, on this one, I was 21 when the first album was done, and now I'm, I'm 25. I'll be 26. Uh, soon, you know, so, you know, back yeah. then I was a student in college, now I'm... Right, and that's college. how you, you recorded your your first album while you were a student, right? And this album you recorded as a teacher? Yeah, well, you know, in, a, in, in 
in addition to the touring and the traveling and the recording and everything, I actually yeah. presented to my old high school, I mean, my old college, uh, that, you know, they really should have, they have a whole bunch of ensembles, a whole bunch of bands for pop yeah. and jazz and everything else. And I told them that, you know, they really need to do a gospel one because it's such a huge and revolutionary genre. It's challenging for people and everything. It's just perfect, you know, for music, um, for music majors and stuff like that. So I convinced them to do it and they said, well, you're going to have to teach it. And so that's what I'm doing. And so it's just, man, I love it uh, as much as singing and writing. I love teaching. Uh, it's really kind of reignited my love for the genre. When did you realize, like, singing is what you really wanted to do? Like, what was that defining moment for you? Well, you know what? Back in, you know, high school, I was really, I, I tell everybody, you know, I'm a nerd, and I had other things that this I is- really... I was more interested in than singing. I never wanted to be in front. I was. I'm. I'm still an introvert. I'm still shy, uh, and that comes off sometimes. Not in the best moments, but you know, mm-hmm. I, I'm still not the type who just needs attention or wants to be in the spotlight. Uh, but I'm getting there. But yeah. Um, uh, you know, back then I didn't really want to sing. It wasn't until high school when I realized the girls liked it, and uh, yeah. you know, I was getting like an identity in that. I really started singing and then it wasn't until college when I went to school for music um, that I really wanted to try this whole songwriting thing and you know ask God to give me music that was special give music that wouldn't wouldn't just be trendy and last on radio for a few months and then be forgotten but something that could actually impact the world so uh, yeah. you know music music is secondary the message is always going to be primary for me and uh, you know I, I'm just blessed to have been you know, trust it with the message to, you know, to sing about. Yeah. How have your life changed since actually becoming successful? And, like, you know, your family, like, what, what do they say about it? Oh, my family, you know, we're real low, low key. We're real, you know, chill, um, mellow. So I know that they're proud, but they're never going to be overly enthusiastic. You're not going to see them yelling too hard or approaching <laughs> too much. But yeah. they, they do everything subtly, you know, just in every conversation. They'll yeah. Mention, they'll find a way to mention me some kind of way. Yeah. <laughs> or, so you'll see them stalking all the Facebook and Twitter posts that <laughs> do. So, yeah. uh, they, so they're real quiet about it. But me and they're proud, and I'm, I know they're proud, and that's a blessing, man. I guess the biggest change in my life in the past couple of years has just been I have to take a whole lot more pictures, and I have to smile a yeah. whole lot more than I <laughs> <laughs> But uh, that's what it is, but... One of the biggest stories right now in Hollywood is the transformation from Bruce Jenner to Caitlyn Jenner. As a gospel artist and coming from a Christian home, what are your thoughts on that? Well, well, my thoughts are, you know, I don't, I don't want to use my platform to express my opinion because um, my opinion is just like everybody else's. It's just mine. It's just mine. Yeah. And so, you know, I, I, all I know is that the, the more we pursue Jesus, the more understanding we get concerning ourselves, our identities, you know, who we are, our lifestyles, everything. You know, that all starts moving into focus and coming into focus when we go back to the guy, the, mm-hmm. the God that, that created us. So, you know, I really don't know. I mean, I guess the only thing that really that, that bothers me about it is, is how much it's celebrated. Yeah, well, you know, in, in 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 addition to the touring and the traveling and the recording and everything, I actually yeah. presented to my old high school, I mean, my old college, uh, that, you know, they really should have, they have a whole bunch of ensembles, a whole bunch of bands for pop yeah. and jazz and everything else. And I told them that, you know, they really need to do a gospel one because it's such a huge and revolutionary genre. It's challenging for people and everything. It's just perfect, you know, for music. Um, for music majors and stuff like that. So I convinced them to do it, and they said, well, you're going to have to teach it. And so that's what I'm doing. And so it's just, man, I love it uh, as much as singing and writing. I love teaching. Uh, it's really kind of reignited my love for this genre. That, But then mm-hmm. this person um, was celebrated nationally and got national attention and has won awards. And I just believe that when you fight for your Christian identity, you're pretty courageous and heroic to me as well. 
thank you for that. Uh, for uh, you know, for just press your thought on it. Does it get on lighter things? You have a street team app on iTunes, yeah, and Google Play. Yeah. So what yeah. can we do on that app? It's, I know it's like your tour dates and things like that. Tour dates, man. Uh, any news stories going on? We're working on some exclusive content to put on there. Um, I'm sure as the album comes out, they're gonna have some special incentives and. Uh, maybe early releases or something like that on the app. Uh, but they do have a, a special street team uh, section, I guess, that's going on that, you know, we're really trying to get people, you know, around the country just to kind of take the initiative or take ownership over this whole life music brand. You know, I wrote it for y'all. I wrote it for people. Um, and so we have a, a lot of people around the country that are actually uh, getting on the app and join the street team. They get some exclusive singles, like for Fresher, you know, that was never pressed uh, as a physical single like Gotta Have You was. Uh, but we do yeah. have, a, we have a few. And it's just for the street team folks. And so, um, yeah. yeah so I, I think mean, that's yeah. a great innovative idea that you guys came up with. So that's, that's pretty cool. Um, I know, I know you I mentioned that the best thing about your job is you get to take pictures and you smile a lot more. Um, but what is the most challenging? thing would you say about your job? Well, I think that's the challenging thing. I, I don't think that's the easiest thing. I think the challenging thing is to, uh, you know, people, you only have a certain uh, first or second impression with people. And so, you know, as an artist who we understand that, all you know, all of what we do is based on, you know, how people receive us, how people receive our music. And so I think it kind of challenges artists to be superhuman. Yeah, we have to kind of ignore how we feel at all moments. You mm-hmm. know, I'm at the I'm at the grocery store, and while most people could go and and be bummy and be a little upset about the day or mm-hmm. just not in the mood, you yeah. know, somebody taps me on the shoulder and say, "Aren't you?" Blah 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 blah. Can I take a picture? I have to I have to get out of myself. Uh, yeah. So I think that's that's definitely not the easier part. That's the more right. challenging part. Yeah. Yeah, that's very understandable. Although we know a lot of other people don't understand that um, being on the other side. But uh, where do you see yourself five years from now? Do you see yourself um, transitioning or cross over to another music genre of any kind? Maybe even some acting in the future. Well, I mean, I am. I am not working on any kind of genre. Uh, loyalty or disloyalty. I'm not working on crossing over. I'm not working on staying, uh, you know, considered a gospel singer either. You know, I'm going to always sing about the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, all, I care about, all I care about is, 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 is how Jesus um, influences, interacts right. with regular life. And uh, that's what I write about. That's what I know about. That's what I care about. And, mm-hmm. um, you know, I'm, I'm blessed when, you know, different genres, different industries, different worlds uh, appreciate the music. And I, you know, I never plan on venturing out. Um, you know, and I don't feel like, and I don't feel like you should. I just asked because it's so weird that um, some people wonder so much or is so curious about gospel artists doing other music. And I, I wonder sometimes even with uh, different art, artists who are in different genres don't get asked well will they cross over and do gospel or something it's just always this high curiosity of, um, especially with an artist like you who you have so many elements in your music that it's so I feel like it's so nasty to people to think like I wonder will this guy sing love songs or you know things like that <laughs> I mean you know music I listen, I love music, and I think if you listen to my album, you can tell that I, I listen to and I've been influenced by and I've studied a lot of this type of music. You know, mm-hmm. I, I'm definitely not, you know, one of the most conservative people when it comes to, you know, listening to music or, uh, you know, letting it influence you or even, you know, Christians being in the, uh, in, in different industries. I don't mind that, man. I'm honestly, I've seen some people really represent Christ well over on that side, you know, and um, and I've seen people represent him poorly on the gospel side, so 
you know, I, I think that it's really just about who you belong for, who you glorify, and who you are pointing to. That's all I've been worried about is who you know, who I'm pointing to. At the end of the day, regardless of who who came, who am I pointing to, um, and what am I pointing to? What principles? What culture? What um, moral am I pointing to? What's the moral of the story? And I mean, uh, you know, I could I could. Go up, I can go up on stage with my shirt off and have my six pack and my oiled up chest and say, mm-hmm. Jesus, all I want to do, all I want to do, <laughs> yeah. it would not necessarily point to Jesus. And so, you know, I, I right. think that it's as artists, we just need, we have to decide who we want to point to with our lives. It could be anything, a dancer or anything. Right. Uh, we just have to figure out and decide who we want to point to. And I just decided that I wanted to point to Jesus and this whole Christian experience. And I think I can do that. Um, uh, and regardless of the environment. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Jonathan, for coming on to the show. And I commend you on everything that you're doing. I think you're a great artist. And I, I know you're going to be here for, for the long one. Oh, I appreciate that, brother. So, so you got to hear the whole album? You- yes, I heard the, heard, uh, the whole album. And so- it's great from top to bottom i love it i told you you. saying it's my favorite because i love the harmonies and you know everything on there but i mean it's kind of hard to choose a favorite track so you guys did an amazing job thank you i appreciate that Uh, it comes out september 18th september 18th all right so 40 days or so so keep up with the good work and thank you so much my man Uh, yes sir thank you Hey, subscribe now.